Now let's get real a second, all right? You know when the giving, when you give, when it gets good? That's when you give something that's so large it fucking hurts, right? Damn, I hate to get rid of that, right? Damn, I hate to give that. People, they give away their shit they don't need. Yeah. To people are actually getting done a favor, right? Hey, you can have that. Hey, please get that. But I remember when my homeboy needed some money, and I gave him my brand new fifth wheel to sell on Marketplace, right? Fucking hurt. That's $1,000. But I pulled goosenecks. I ain't got a fifth wheel. I remember that. He's in federal prison right now. He got a two-year bid on a miss on a miss prison charge. You know what that is? That's when they won't convict you of anything, but you knew of a crime and you didn't report it. You kept your fucking mouth shut. They locked him up for two years. His name's Derek Heyman. I gave him that deal. His lawyer fee was over $150,000. He fought it all the way. But when we give shit, if we're just giving shit away that we have laying around the house that we need to give away because we don't want to have to haul it to the dump, I mean, is that really giving? Does that count? Does heaven look down and say, well, I'm so glad you got rid of the shit you need to get rid of. What did I say? Well, that was good. They don't. No more than you give a damn about people that give you half-ass work, wash your car half-ass, cook you a half-ass meal. And that's where I'm at today. I don't want to half-ass nothing. And I don't want to give half of anything. And I sure in the fuck don't want to give somebody some of my shit I don't want. Take it out, I'll tell my wife, take it out that pile and burn that shit, right? Because what I give, what I give my wife and my family and this nation is the same thing that God gave of me. And that's everything. That's absolutely fucking the whole, the whole bucket, right? The whole list. And there's people in this nation that lost their homes, not just one, thousands. And they're speculated and there's guys I know on the floor they're not reporting. Over 10,000 people dead. Family members dead. People calling people on Facebook and forming groups. Hey, have you seen my daughter? Have you seen my son? Have you seen my grandchild? They are missing. They have been missing for three weeks. And they're hoping for a fucking miracle. Like a real miracle. Like the miracle where like they see the spaceship and the aliens come down. On camera, in person. A fucking big shebang, right? And there's roads that are still covered, people still undiscovered, trees so big that 20 inch saws won't cut, right? Tears still hitting the ground, bodies still stinking, body bags still needed. People need to be fed. And the last thing they, know, they don't need is your extra shit. No, they don't need your extra stuff. They need cots, generators. Propane fuel cells, conversion kits for big bottles to little bottles, big chainsaws, chains, bars, oil, fucking generators, portable heaters, batteries, tents, Connex buildings, 20 and 40 footers delivered, and volunteers that can fucking do the work and play the role, work with others. It's not, listen, it is not some, I talked. I, I know a woman personally that is running a camp in Bakersfield, right? And here's what we like to do. We like to roll up there, roll our little nice clothes out, shake some hands, give them some shit, give our little advice and our, say our little prayer and haul ass. All right? They don't need that. No more than you need a fucking half-ass washed car. Or a pair of britches, two sizes too small. Or a set of panties with a hole in them. Or some underwear with the ass eating out of them. That's, yeah. Does anybody need that? What if you went to the Chinese store? 
went up there and ordered you an egg roll, and they sent you one back that was bit in half. You would throw a fucking fit. All right? Their argument is, well, it's an egg roll. Yeah, but it's one I don't want. And that's what I'm asking you today. All right? We don't need clothes. We don't need fucking more. We don't need no more water. We need big boy shit. And I'm a big boy, and I'm going to deliver. And if you want to be a part of that, hallelujah. All right? You can find my number on the excavator. I don't have the excavator no more. I sold it for a truck. I got a backhoe. And when we get more time, yeah, because we're running. We're, this will be our second trip on November the 1st. Turn and burn with my buddy Ryan, Paul, and his family, and others, right? And if you want to be a part of that, I get you a number, cash app. An address, but you better get on it because we leave Friday after next if you want to join the club. Thank you much. God bless you. Fluent English.